Well, here goes nothing. No turning back now, I guess. What's going on, guys? Mikey Wright here, and welcome to the shore. Now, this is an atmospheric horror game, kind of based around love of crafting lore and stuff, and uh, it looks really cool, really pretty. Let's go ahead and get started. Ellie. My dear Ellie. I have to find her. Whoa. Alright. Here we are. This looks great. Okay. Pick up, uh... A shred of hope. Oh, what a man needs to keep moving before he loses his sanity and his will. Walking along the shore reminded me of the walks I used to have with my wife. Okay. When I walked the valley... Okay, yeah, yeah, we know that. I'll take that. Is this the boat? Did I crash here? Is that what happened? This looks like it's been here for a minute. Kind of buried. Let's keep going along the shore here. Yeah, this game's really pretty. What we got here. We armed ourselves and walked along the shore. To our surprise, we came across other ships that had wrecked without any trace of survivors. It was like a graveyard for ships. Our compass goes mad any time we try to set a course off the island. Our captain says it's because of the volcanic dust. We think he's gone mad. Sounds like the captain was right. Hmm. It's a little concerning. Inventory. Oh. There we go. Hello, Mr. Seagull. They speak of a fisherman who was lost in a stranded sea. He never came back. Now I know where he lies. Where misfortunes could have drove him here. I like the uh, narration, the voice acting too. Okay, what are the oh, the candles over here? Okay. All right, what's this? I have offered my right arm and spoke the correct words in his absence. Only pain accompanies me towards my demise. I was forced to leave the lighthouse. There's something wrong in all of us. Only the slumbering god can save us now. And the slumbering god, what huh? What is he talking about? Interesting. Oh, look, there's, uh, homeboy's arm. It's a little upsetting. Okay, um, can't go that way. <laughs> there's another path over here, right? <sighs> I think I saw one. Yeah. Go over to this lighthouse, I guess. One of those. A bunch of these little things laying around. Little stick things. Don't know what they are. What's that? Something over here. What? Oh! Whoa, what was that? What was that? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. The hell is 
that thing? Oh, stop it. It's not my daughter's voice. Oh. Okay. Just get away from that thing. Go to the lighthouse. <laughs> Don't want to mess with whatever that was. As we sinked our feet in the sand for the last time, she asked me to tell her one of my stories about the wild sea. I could hear each of her breaths being shorter and shorter. And by the time I finished my story, Ammonia took her life. Oh, damn. Jesus. What's this thing? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that tentacle thing was, but, uh, yeah, not playing with that thing. All right. There must be... Or his daughter? And him? Oh! Big old shark. Okay. What we got here? Ominous phrase card on the side. In the cosmos, there are things we know and things unknown. And in between there are windows. Okay. Alright. Nothing here. Let's go upstairs. See what else we can find. Lots of stuff laying around in here. A hammock? Anything on the table here? Uh, it's a little disturbing. I've never seen such creatures before. Something is wrong. Here, like the god have forsaken this place and its creations. This artifact we found, the statue, it looks ancient. Our captain says we should take it back with us. Okay. Ooh, there's a tentacle thing maybe I saw? I don't know. Lots of strange things. Oh, what's this? Okay. Take that, I guess. I don't know what that is. But... Head up here. Those strange noises. Dagger looks way too old, but it looks like someone has already cleaned every part of it. The sharp, the shapes and sculptures are quite eerie. Okay. Oh, here's another coin. Strange, this coin is warm. Can I not take it? All right. Strange. I guess we'll go up one more. Look out here first. So our boat's like, oh, there's a dead shark over there? Is that what that is? Man, this game is really pretty. Bunch of wrecked ships. 
There's another ship over there that doesn't look wrecked. And a giant obelisk or whatever the hell that is. Oh. There's somebody over there. Didn't look quite human though. Grayish skin. Kind of like, uh, maybe this thing. Shark eyes. Yeah. Oh! Okay. We are on the roof now. On the roof, on the top of the... What is this called? The lighthouse. <laughs> Jesus. Those uneducated fools. They won't let me write for them. They're all fishermen with dirty scuffed clothes and smell horrible. Their beards reek of alcohol and spit comes out when they talk. I'd rather stay another four hours at this point and take care of the problematic mechanisms of this handcrafted construct. I do not regret this journey. It certainly made life more interesting since then. Not to mention the view from up here. Yeah. The hatred, misery, and sadness of mankind fade away into the line where the sea and the sky collide. He is not wrong there. It is a hell of a view. Indeed. What else we got? Another? Another coin? It's got like an eye on it? Can't pick that up yet either? Or at all, I guess? Okay. Let's look on the other side of there. Oh look. There's a piece missing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look at this. This painting. It's the same as this. Saints the weird tentacly creature in the motion. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? This seems to be just an ordinary statue. Every part of it is very detailed. My guess the artist behind this painting was startled by it. Yeah. It would look that way. Can I pick this up? Anything else? Oh, what's this say? I swear I saw something towards the horizon. Behind the mist. It wasn't a whale or a great white shark. Its many legs stretched a hundred feet, submerging its body into the sea. Crawled as if it was infected by a thousand parasites. From its tentacle mouth, it spit out black, disgusting, and disfigured blob like figures. The moment they fell into the sea, they swam away faster than a dolphin. As the mist kept rising, I could barely see the creature. That wasn't a good sign. I should start placing those talismans I found at the bottom of the lighthouse around the pathways we made. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. What do I do? Is it like coming this way? What the hell? Okay. 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 Just gonna go back down. Just gonna go <laughs> back downstairs. Not here for that. <laughs> Not here for that at all. Can I pick that up? No. 
Okay. Water, like worms. Okay, well, I said to start putting the, uh, what's it call it's back, right? The little FUG things or wards or whatever those things are called. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Can't take that with me. Oh, there's a key. This is probably for that, um... Let's sell her. What's outside? All right. I think that's everything. Oh, legs. Go ahead and uh, check this out. Crouch. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Are you dead? How did they manage to let him die in here? What made them forsake their civil ways? Okay. I'll take that, I guess. Take this... Strange statue. I had to hide. I had to. I ran, climbed the rocks, and tried to hide. That's when I fell into the pit full of dead bodies. Their flesh looked rotten but petrified. Their souls sucked dry out of them. The horrors in their faces touched the very void of my soul. Expressions as something horrific had happened to them. That's when the rest of the crew caught me. They stripped me naked and they locked me down here. They accused me that I was the one that brought the bad luck to them by placing the talismans for the blocking the pathways. All I wanted was to keep them safe, despite their uncivilized behavior. Damn, dude. That's rough. What's odd handprints? Anything back there? No. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here because it's creeping me up. I did pick up the little statue thing. Oh! Oh. Okay. What's over there? Something glowing. Alright, I guess we'll head back the other way. There's a way over here I didn't go, right? I didn't go this way, I don't think. Is that what that is? Oh! There was something just right there. And it moved. Get out of my head. Is this that pit he was talking about? There's bones everywhere. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, do I jump in there? There's dead bodies all in there. They're all, like, petrified. Well, here goes nothing. No turning back now, I guess. Okay. Oh. monolith is the key of the silent. 
Break it free. Okay. Wow. That's a little terrifying. There's three of these little things here. Okay. I guess I... Dude, that's all of them. Then what happens? That I am not sure of. Okay, we got two of them spinning. And we'll go hit the third one. I assume I can't move that other one by the portal over there until I get these all going. I wonder what this is. A temple underwater, maybe? I think it's gonna come out of the ground. There's like a temple in there. Like Zelda or something. <clears throat> That's what I'm thinking. Alright, let's go and get the last one. And then well. Get out of here. <laughs> Maybe. Depends. Alright, there's the last one. Oh, look, see? Yeah. It's opening see up. the world through the eyes of a god. Like a dream in a flash of light. Oh. Beware the existence of. Oh! And grasp time in your conscious mind. Oh! It has legs! And it walks. All right. Where's it going? Is it booking it out of here? Can I book it out of here? Let's get out of here. Man, these are horrifying. Okay. Let's, uh, not dilly-dally too much in the pit of the dead over here. I think it's just gonna keep walking out of here, I guess. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that at all. Okay. Oh, there's a little statue over here as well. Maybe that's what the medallion fits in. Is the thing still moving? Where is it? Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh yeah, look. They match. Cool. As a young boy, I remember my father talking about this island. He described it in a way that would scare the listener. He spoke of black butterflies, corpse candles, and broken compasses. Hmm. Sounds a little unsettling. Let's read this. Day five. There was a man aboard named Alan who went missing after we shipwrecked. One night... We found him walking alone across the beach. As we approached him, to our surprise, we saw that he had this fixed expression on his face, as if he had seen something horrifying. His hands... His hands and arms were paralyzed in a position like if he was protecting himself from something. We tried to ask him questions, but he didn't reply. Now he's sitting by the shore, singing songs to the rocks about reflections in the sea. Man. What he saw. I think it's stomping. All right. Who's that dead shark? As 
island feels like it's maintained, untouched by time. The wind and the waves pause for a minute to rest, the calm before the storm. Another bottle. I can barely describe what I have witnessed today. That old fool Alex suddenly went insane. He started stuffing his mouth with rocks. He kept doing so until his cheeks were completely torn. We had to tie him down. If you're reading this, send help. Definitely something this guy yeah it sounds like it where's the thing going a small whale that recognized this boat it was made by an artist to represent our greatest catch how did it end up here this was meant to be completed by the end of December it's still September you can tell that's a boat Damn. Despite his fear about the island, he would often come here fishing some very colorful fish. I remember finding myself quite disturbed as I watched him stuff his mouth with their raw meat. That's gross. Oh! Oh, what are you? What are you? Okay. Okay, let's just get away from that thing. What the hell was that? Oh man, okay. Well, that thing's still just cruising along. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. Thank you so much for watching. This is a really cool game. I really like it. Really enjoying it. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty creepy so far. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you again real soon.